really honored to have Master uh, Montak Chia here, who is both a, uh, uh, an expert on Qigong and, uh, and Taoism. And, uh, and, and he's published so many wonderful books. It's, it's, it's really an honor to have him here. He's also, if you've, uh, if you've read our uh, magazine, we also have a list of the 100 most spiritual, uh, spiritually influential living people. And he's ranked number 23 on the list, which is a very, very impressive position. And uh, yeah, he's going to talk about um, sexual energy today. And uh, we're really, really looking forward to that. It's going to be a short talk, about 15 minutes, and then you're welcome to ask questions. So maybe think of what you want to ask. And uh, after that, we'll, uh, we'll let you uh, talk to him in person if you want to get a book signed. So without any further ado, let's thank uh, Montek for coming here, and then we'll kick off. So um, uh, one of the Tao practice involved with the inner alchemy, we call the sexual inner alchemy practice. And um, most people know about sexual energy because, because we come from sex. And the whole life that we are, we involve with sex, or loving sex. So the Tao practice divides into few sections of practice, we call a physical part. I mean, how to strengthening the sexual organ. And the energy part is how the sexual organ transforms to be a sexual energy. And how the sexual energy transforms into chi. And finally, how the sexual energy transforms into chi and transforms into the spiritual energy to feed the soul and spirit. Because the whole thing about the Tao sexual practice is sexual energy is the only most powerful energy that can transform it and feed into the soul and the spirit. Sometimes we call them a baby food formula. So without the sexual energy uh, transform it, you cannot raise the soul and spirit. So we always look at the soul and spirit like an infant. When it comes to us, like a baby, like a child. And if people don't grow them, they will remain like a child. And when people uh, with no purpose come to this life, they will go, they will, when they left, they know the soul never, never grow, never educated. So they will end up with living the world like a child. So when you have like a child, we call, they get lost. So we have what? Lost soul, wandering ghosts, hungry ghosts. And that's becoming very soon about the Halloween day. Mm. Okay, so what the Halloween we do? What what we give to the ghosts? Candy. Why? Because this is the chai, <laughs> chai. So the ghost chai we feed them with candy. So the olden time they know that this all wandering ghosts like a chai. They're wandering. They're hungry. They lost soul, and they don't have it. So the Tao practice is very simple that first, know your sexual energy and um, strengthening them because the soul and spirit come to this world the only that because we have a physical. The physical can produce energy, we call Qi. And the sexual organ is a material we call the, um, the organ, sexual organ like material, but one of this, you can transform the sexual organ into sexual energy, and that's the immaterial. So with the immaterial is the link between the, the soul and the spirit. So when with no chi, no sexual energy, the, the, the soul and spirit have no link. So now they have link to link to the soul and spirit, and they feed in them. So in the Tao practice, there are many exercises, a very important exercise, like a simple one like massaging the breast. And the lady, why we need the massaging the breast and exercise the uterus? And the man, we have massaging the testicle and massaging the, the kidney. 
okay, and massaging the dantian because this is where the sexual energy is transformed. So when you hold the sexual organ and you massage the navel and you make it warm and you can start to feel energy changes. So the whole thing is you have to know that material can change to immaterial. So in a normal way of thinking is that when the sexual organ producing sperm and egg, so it becomes material. Material producing material. So what we can do? We cannot do anything. All we have to do is drain them out or dump them out. So man is ejaculation out. Woman turn to be menstruation and lose a lot of blood to it. So in the Tao said, if we don't understand how to practice that, we are keep on losing our sexual energy every day. Okay? And this is the biggest waste in our life. Why? Because sexual energy is the most important for number one, have the healing power. Why? Because sexual energy creating us. So sexual energy we're regarding them as a commander on the top. A commanding the embryo cells, a commanding the stem cell. And we know the stem cell creating can repair anything we want. So without the sexual energy, the stem cell don't work because they have to receive the commander on the top to give them the order. Plus the melatonin at night together, plus together, they get the order and they do the, do the job. Cell have to be listened to the order. If they don't get the order, they don't know what to do. So that's why um, the strengthening the sexual organ is very important. And um, the simple uh, practice is creating the fire. So men like fire and women like water. So in the Tao practice, we say um, uh, women, so they are reverse the process. Women um, should have many orgasm and ejaculations. Okay. Men, because it's water and fluid. And women producing egg in once a month. But men can producing a lot of sperm. Every day, every day ejaculation now. So it's taking a lot of energy. So we only know that the monk, the nun, the priest, they have to conserve the sexual energy because they want to convert this energy into the spiritual energy connecting to God. So without the sexual energy, there's no link to connect. But if you don't strengthen your sexual organs, you also have no enough energy to transform it into a, a higher... So, so the sexual energy can use for healing. The sexual energy can use for strengthening. The sexual energy can use for creating power. So a lot of like performance, the sport people, they have to really learn how to conserve their sexual energy. So all the football team, when in the spring training, they cannot take a girlfriend into the camp and, uh, and also training also. Because they need to conserve their sexual energy in order to transform to strength and power. So that's why, so the simple, a part of the Tao practice is how can you have, how can you separate uh, orgasm and ejaculation out? So that is the man have to be really learn how to. So a, a simple thing is the mind power and the muscle control. So the one exercise that the man can really strengthening immediately is so simple: is tightening your buttock. And I think that that is, I don't know, the, the English invent that word or not, we call tightening your ass. Okay? <laughs> I don't know that. But in the Tao practice, when you're strengthening your buttock, tightening up, and tightening up, that man, if you tighten this one 100 times a day, that's it, 100 times a day. And uh, in, uh, in a few, if you're doing a few months, a few weeks, you start to learn how to control ejaculation. So why we need the man need to control ejaculation? Because you don't have the ejaculation every time. That's with the most important part. And so there are a timetable, how old you are, how many times you should be ejaculation. A 
week. And later on, if the, if between the age, you go up. So you can have, if you enjoy life, enjoy sex, enjoy love, because loving energy and orgasm energy is the one that make the cell split, make the DNA split. So they have a study that DNA renewal need orgasm and love. That's why we have love. When we feel love and feel orgasm, they say when we make love, the DNA also make love and it split. The DNA renewal happen every second. When it slow down, we get old. When it slow down, we get sick. And when it don't split anymore, we finish. But the process is always depending on the orgasm and love. So when we make love, the DNA also make love. And it split and you get a new cells. That's why when you're practicing love and feel the arousal orgasm, you have more energy. Jing, so in the, in the, in the, in the Tao, Chinese we say Jing, Qi means the sexual energy. But the sexual energy comes from the sexual organ, the sperm and egg. If we dump them all out, we don't have that energy. The woman is a very important part to massage the breast because every month before the meditation comes, a lot of energy is coming to the breast. So the body thinks, oh, ready to have a baby again every month. You know? So the body prepare the egg, prepare the liner, and prepare the energy to make milk. But when the egg have nothing happen, no conception happen, the, the blood come out and clean out the egg. So it go out like menstruation. But energy stuck in the breast to prepare milk. When you don't, uh, if you're active and younger, the energy will move back. But we get to older, the energy stuck there. So you start one month, two months, three months, it becomes like a, a, a cyst and a tumor and later on become cancer. So it's a two, two edge sword. One, either you transform the energy back into life force or either it started to creating cancer. So that's why women are so simple. If you want to have more energy back into your life, and more loving energy because the breast in one with the heart, the loving heart here. So the lady just massage the breast and learn how to contract the vagina because the uterus have a lot of problems. When the lady have the, when have the baby, the uterus become too big. And if they don't learn how to contract the uterus, the uterus getting too big and the gravitation always pull it down. So eventually, it's going to sack down on the blood. And some of them sack out so low because it's too big. And you never train them. So that's why in the sexual practice, we always talk about a different way of orgasm for women. So you have the Christoris ejac ejaculation. You have the G-spot, or we call secret spot. And you have the uterus orgasm. The uterus orgasm now more and more. But the Taoism they do, they know it's many thousand years. And now the West discovered that uterus orgasm is very important, but it's very difficult. Because you have to understand the anatomy in order to get the uterus orgasm for women. Because they are, if you don't activate the, the crystals in, uh, enough, and you don't activate the secret spot enough, the uterus spot back on the epic center will not open. So all the women we call women very mysterious. So all the secret spot is hiding. So it's not there until you get it ready and the lady not open. So that's why the uterus the lady can train how to contract it. Okay. So in this one a famous exercise in the in the dark we call the the, the D exercise. So you massage the breast and you contract the perineum anus and you think the uterus contracting because that's how when the lady gets orgasm the uterus contract and release, contract and release. 
and uh, because the West, I think the and England make the research somewhere, yeah, because they discover that when they feed the mother milk, the, the 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 lady feed the milk to the baby, and when the when the baby suck on the breast, the uterus contract. So it make the uterus uterus getting smaller, smaller, smaller. That way. So that is how uh, exercise and know it, it really helped to change a loving. Men also, when you massage testicle and you do the do the um, tightening this, you have a lot of chi come back. So you have more fire. So making love in man and woman we call water and fire. So if we have, when men have lesser fire and women have icy cold vagina, so if you try to boil a water, it takes a long time to boil with a very little fire and very cold water. So, if you make the breast warm, the uterus have chi. When when man and woman make love, you have more energy. Otherwise, it become too cold, and eventually you lost interest. And so that's why the man and woman lost interest because men have less of fire, and women all the sexual organ become too cold. So when you learn how to massage and exercise them, you have more more chi in the sexual organ. So um, thank you.